Okay, let's look at some um, cool chord progressions. I've got a whole list here, so we're just going to uh, crash through. Let's look at the two, number two, and it's G, D, E minor 7, C2. Again, you could play this all the way through a million times. Just a really great chord sequence. So uh, it's going to be G, D, E minor 7, C2. And uh, we're hoping that one day it's going to sound like this. I'm going to use the strumming pattern 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and... Okay, so let's look at the, the G. Um, I'm using this uh, arrangement of G. Tall G, we call it, so middle finger, sixth string, um, fret three, index finger, fifth string, fret two, and the ring and the little are tucking underneath there, right at the bottom on, the, uh, on fret three, but uh, first and second string. So before we get to the strumming, you may uh, want to just uh, down strum four times, which might be easier. But again, with everything else, it's trying to change in time. That's what we want to do in the D. By now, you probably know that D, so I'm not going to spend time going over. E minus seven is basically G without the middle finger. So we're just going to go from the D to the E minus seven. C2 is like a mini G instead of the uh, middle and the index on the 6th and 5th we're just going to budge down to the 4th and 5th like this and then you can use your thumb here just to mute that 6th string or maybe just use the, the middle finger here just to touch but we don't really want that 6th um, string from playing so Let's do it uh, down strum four times, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Get ready for D. E minor seven. C two. E minus seven, C two, last time, two, three, four. So, um, again, if you are uh, really confident with that and you could put a bit of um, rhythm into it with the strumming, it's going to sound like this. Two, two, three. 